Hi, Cecilia. Hi, Mr. how are you? Very good, thank you. And you? Yes, very well, thanks. So how has your week been? Oh, it's been great, thank you. Um, we got some really exciting news this week. Oh, have you? We've got through to the final of the Mumpreneur UK Awards. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I'm so pleased. Um, it's in the best green business category. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. And the finals, or the, you know, the, the winners are announced on the 30th of September. So we've got a bit of time to wait. Um, oh, very exciting. Yeah, we wish great. you all the best. Thank you very much. Oh, that's really good. And um, how do they determine the winners? Well, there's a, a judging panel that are looking at um, the criteria for our award, for our category. And it's really about um, how the business is structured to be ethical and how environmentally friendly it is. And because From Babies to Love's entire ethos is about benefiting others, our, um, our, our little strap line that I love is baby dedicated, charity motivated. You know, it, I hope it will stand good stead. Yeah. And then on top of that, all our products are organic, all our packaging is recyclable and biodegradable as far as possible. So I, I think we fulfill the criteria really well. So fingers crossed. Yes, fingers crossed. Today we're going to be talking about business plans. But before we go into business plans, you mentioned something about your new product. So do you think you could show that for us, please? Yeah, I've got them with me here. I've just got a, a couple of my favourites to show you. Um, this one I like to call Elephants on Parade. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's little baby it's, growth. It's this one's particularly cute on little boys. Um, this really cool opening, which is, you see, it's really stylish, gorgeous baby growth. It's actually really practical as well. It's and it looks clever. really comfortable. Yeah, and these clever little feet that follow oh. the night and day. And all these practical things are really important, uh, you know, from experience of being a new mum, I yeah. know they make a difference. Um, but the other thing about these, con these, these uh, organic cotton products is that they are so soft. I wish I could convey to you <laughs> how gorgeous they are and gorgeous on the baby's skin. And of course, as well as being, you know, super soft, they, um, organic cotton is, is more durable, so they last really well and all the times you have to wash baby's clothes. Um, and as well as being better for the environment and the people growing and producing cotton as well. So win win all round. Anyway, let's get back to the business plans. Do you sure. think a business plan is important? And <clears throat> I mean, how have you, um, could you share your experience with us, please, about your business plan and what you found out through doing your business plan? Sure. Um, somebody once taught me um, a, a, an approach to work, which is to spend 40% of time planning, 20% doing, and 40% reviewing. And sometimes I find that counterintuitive. But actually, when I when I try and apply it, and when I do apply it, it, it works really well. And that was definitely the case for me in um, preparing for establishing the business. Um, I spent a long time writing my business plan, and it's really helped me to ensure that from the day we started trading and the website went live, ensuring that all everything's been you know working smoothly, that we've been targeting the right audiences, that the systems all work smoothly. That you know the fundamental premises of the of the business have been well tested and well thought through. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, I'm a big advocate of uh, of business planning. I'm quite a planner myself. That's really good. So, <clears throat> if somebody was working on a business plan now, for them to review and and feedback at that point as well. So all the way through, I was seeking um, input and corroboration and assurance and just trying to test the model. Um, that I was building as much as possible so that um, the plan could be as, as accurate as possible, you know, yeah. realising that reality never quite follows a plan, but um, trying to make it as robust a plan as I could. That's excellent. Thank you very much for sharing it with us. Um, so that's about all for today. Uh, do you think you could share a little with us about what's in store for next week? Sure, yes. Yeah. Um, next week we are well we're working on trying to get into some local newspapers with our Mumprina Award um, finalist news. So that will be a priority and we're also um, building our systems to enable international delivery of our products. So that's um, high on the list as well. Excellent. So uh, until next week then. Thank you, Nick. All right. Bye.